sealed up the grave.
Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Glory, glory to your name. Well, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and title this message, I Have Just Seen Jesus. I Have Just Seen Jesus. Isaiah chapter 6, uh, beginning at verse 1, I will begin reading. In the year, in the year, I wonder what year that was. Before Christ, A.D., B.C., in the year that King Uzziah, King Uzziah, King, there was a king that existed for a long time. It could have been a president, it could have been, it could have been, in, in this case, it's a king. King Uzziah died in the year. There was a certain year that this king died. But our focus is not on that, but I want to recall the year. There's always a year, a day, and a month of everything. Isaiah records that I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. Now Isaiah is not making up a story. Isaiah is telling the truth. God's word is truth. Otherwise, our God and Father would have not recorded this about Isaiah. <clears throat> and uh, be before I, I, I keep going on in, in Isaiah, uh, I want us to remind ourselves that God Himself, the presence of God, in the beginning, God. And in, in, in Genesis, God. In the book of Revelation, God. So this book was left for our instructions that Ever since from Genesis to the book of Revelation, it is all God. Example, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things. And God wants to, God wants to show you and show me and the only reason and the only way that he can show us is by his manual, his book, his written book, his written law. Amen? So, like, when you go buy a, a new vehicle, they give you an instruction book where is the jack, hiding in the car, the secret button that opens up the trunk if you ever get locked inside, well all those little things and the maker of that company gave us a booklet from the manufacturing company. You want to know what the key looks like, it's got a picture of the key. Amen. So, in the same way, God, from the beginning to the end, anything that you want to look for is in the Bible. Mountains, rivers, sun, moon, heaven, and earth. Whatever it is, you go to this wonderful book, the Holy Bible, 
and look up any word and it's in there. Example, Genesis chapter 2. God himself, God's presence, walking in the garden. And he formed, he formed Adam and Eve. God formed. Cain saw God in Genesis chapter 4. God came down to see the city and the tower. God came down. God, we're going to see that he is seated on the throne, our God and Father, which art in heaven. God came down to see the city and the tower in Genesis chapter 11. Abraham saw the appearances of God in Genesis chapter 12. Jacob in Genesis 32. Moses saw God face to face. He even saw the back parts of God's being. God has back parts. He showed them to Moses, and if he has back parts, he must have front parts, and if he has a body, he must have legs and feet and arms and eyes and a mouth and ears to hear and eyes to see. <clears throat> Moses, seeing God face to face, Moses asked God, show me your glory. With the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 14, and Numbers, chapter 12, and Israel, God revealed himself to Israel in Judges, chapter 2, Verse 15, Gideon saw the Lord. The Lord himself revealed himself and appeared to Gideon, Samuel, Elijah, David, Job 42, verse 5. Amos saw the Lord standing. <clears throat> Amos 9, 1. Standing. So we're going to see that God is seating on a throne. We're going to see that God came down to see the city. And here Amos 9.1, he sees God standing. God is not a spirit. Daniel saw God. And the Lord Jesus. San, uh, Daniel chapter 7. We're going to go there. But I want us to go since you've been waiting for me. In Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died. I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. High and lifted up. High and lifted up. High and lifted up. Sitting on the throne. He was sitting on the throne. A spirit cannot sit on a throne. A throne is a literal throne. This is not all spiritual as churches spiritualize the whole Bible. I saw with my eyes the Lord. Now, the Bible says that no one can look at God and live. No one can see God and yet live. But yet, all these men recorded in the Bible, they all saw the Lord and ate with Him and walked with Him and wrestled with Him and so forth. High and lifted up. His throne was not like the other thrones of the 24 elders. The throne of God and of the Lamb and the 24 
the beasts, the 24 elders, as we're going to see in Revelation chapter 4. And <clears throat> these angels, these seraphims, they cry out day and night, holy, holy, holy. Not just one holy, but he is holy, holy. Not just holy, holy, he is holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is filled with His glory. Now, <clears throat> let's go to Daniel chapter 7. Daniel chapter 7. I will begin reading at verse 9. <clears throat> Daniel records for us to read that was given to him by God through revelation of God, which God gave him to write. Amen. The, in other words, it's the revelation of Daniel, which God gave unto him to write. Daniel 7, 9. I watch till thrones, many thrones, many chairs, but God's throne is higher and lifted up. Higher than all the rest of the thrones because he is not blessed be the name of the Lord. I watched your thrones were put in place and the ancient of days was seated. The ancient of days was seated. God here he is called uh, with Moses I am. I am that I am. In Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God. That is one of God's names. Jehovah, Elohim, Yahweh, Adonai. Jehovah uh, uh, Anisi, Jehovah Jireh. <clears throat> Here, the Ancient of Days was seated. And John, uh, Daniel here says, I watched. So he was watching with his eyes. Mine eyes have seen the Lord of glory. His garment, when well, he wears clothes. God has a body and he wears clothes. His garment was white as snow. Was white, purer, purer than white, whiter than snow. And the hair of his head, he got a head, and he has hair, was like pure wool, descriptions, but God is spirit, God is a spirit being, he has a, uh, <clears throat> let me keep reading, his throne, his throne, yeah, it's not one of the elders' thrones. It's not one of the 24 elders' thrones, but his throne was a fiery flame. Fiery flame. You ever watch uh, anyone that is doing something, a welder, a fiery flame that he's welding, and he's got to cover his eyes. He'll go blind because of the light and the glory, and the power. So everything we see here on earth is a something we see in heaven. You see trees here, there's trees there. A country here, a country there. Horses here, horses there. The Bible records that Jesus will come back Riding on a white horse. No spiritual thing here. Take the Bible literally where it is literal. And spiritually where it's spiritual. 
I saw the woman clothed with the sun. Well, that's not literal. <clears throat> His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. A burning fire. His throne. <clears throat> God sitting on the throne. And you, can, you can't really see this chair he's sitting on. Because it is a fiery flame. A burning fire. Awesome. And um, a, <clears throat> a fiery stem issued and came forth from before him. A thousand... Thousands, ten times ten thousands and thousands ministered to him. And they stood before him. Men, thousands among thousands among thousands of thousands stood before him and ministered unto him. Glory and praises and honor to him and the court was seated. After that, everybody, the judge comes in, the court is seated, and everybody takes his chair. The court was seated, and the books were open. There's going to be a book that's going to be open concerning Jesse Charo, concerning Daniel, concerning Ezekiel, concerning Amos. And uh, I'm going to jump to verse 13. And I watch, as I was watching in the night vision, Daniel, as I was watching in the night vision, if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will reveal myself to him. I speak to him and I reveal myself to him in a dream and in a vision. Numbers 12, Numbers, Numbers 12. <clears throat> As I was watching the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, one like the Son of Man. This is not the Ancient of Days. One like the Son of Man. Who is this Son of Man? Here comes Yeshua. Here comes Jesus. Coming with the clouds of heaven, He came, and it is a He, is a male, not female. I've spoken to uh, one individual and he said, oh yeah, she, God, she is so good. And I said, what? He came to the Ancient of Days. This Jesus, Yeshua, Son of Man, comes to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him. They brought him angels. Come over, whatever, a chariot, whatever, clouds, however, it, it doesn't say here. But they brought him near before him. Near before the ancient of days. Here's the Lord, Yeshua, Jesus, comes over and they brought him before the throne of God, the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. Verse 14, if you just joined us, this is Daniel chapter 7. I'm reading at verse 14. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all the peoples of the nations and the tribes and tongues and peoples and nations should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. This is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the Son of God. He is the, uh, the, the Son of the Ancient of Days. Amen. So he came to purchase us with his own blood he was buried, he resurrected the third day according to the scriptures, 
bought us with his precious blood, and this is, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world, John 3, 16, 17, and 18. Verse 27, Until the Ancient of Days came, and a judgment was made in favor of the saints of the Most High. Here we are, the saints of the Most High, and the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom. We're going to reign, rule with Christ forever and ever. Somebody say praise the Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Um, <clears throat> I said that in uh, Isaiah 6-1, with... 2 Kings 19.15, 2 Kings 22.19, Micah saw the Lord sitting on a throne. In 2 Kings 19.15 and 22.19. Ezekiel, where is Ezekiel? <clears throat> Did I get Ezekiel yet? Anyway, Ezekiel, um, this is so wonderful. <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1. Now it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river, Shebar, that the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God. With Revelation chapter four one. In the year, in the in the month, and in the day, there is a year, a month, and the day when I'll throw this one in free. This is no charge for this one. In nineteen eighty. Seven. In 1986, I saw Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, calling me to come to Him. I, Jesse. We are a continuation of the book of Acts. The book of Acts is not dead. This Bible is not dead. It is not a, a, a dead written book. For all scripture is alive. And for instruction, for correction in righteousness. So here Ezekiel, he's recording that on this month, on this day, and on this year. Amen. Okay, so then Ezekiel saw visions of God in Ezekiel 8.1. Uh, I have just have to take a little time to read this one because I've read it before and it is so wonderful. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't imagine how uh, <clears throat> I never knew the Bible. I did not know God. I did not know Jesus. Everybody believes in God. So many preachers are preaching about God and they don't even know God. Many people are preaching a Jesus, a different Jesus, a different gospel, not even knowing the Lord Yeshua, not even knowing Jesus Christ. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 1, And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, as I sat in my house with the elders of Judah sitting before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell upon me there. And he took him and he, he put a lock on his hair and the Spirit of the Lord lifted him up between heaven and earth. Between, he's standing before, every time he would come over, grab Ezekiel by the hair, he says, come here boy, I'm going to show you something. 
and he, he would stand him right in the middle between heaven and earth, and he would see what the elders were doing in the temple. They were taking stuff and snorting it up their nose. He says, Ezekiel, do you see what the elders are doing in my temple? That's why, Ezekiel, I wanted you to see that. Because when the books will be open, this will show up. And not only that, God says, I have a witness. Ezekiel, come here. What did you see these elders doing in the temple, in the church? Well, they were taking incense and this and that, and they were snorting. Thank you, Ezekiel. Everything that is hidden will come to light. Everything later will be purified by fire. Every hay, stubble, wood will be burned. And whatever is good, that is what's going to show up. Everything else, your glory, what you did in church, what you did in Las Vegas, what you did what you did, what you did, what you did, everything's going to be burned up. If it's not done, your labor is not in vain. Your labor in the Lord, but your labor in you, you're in vain. And you're still dead in your sins. Preaching a different Jesus, preaching a different gospel, preaching a different Ancient of days, that he is a spirit. He is not a spirit. He is a spirit being with a body, his legs, and his hair, and his head, and eyes, and ears. Um, I have to move quickly. Um, uh, that was Ezekiel <clears throat> chapter 1, Ezekiel chapter 8, 1 through 6. Uh, read uh, Ezekiel chapter 10 and chapter 11. You see more of the ancient of days. Now, that was in the Old Testament. Let's jump to the book of Acts. Amen. Um, because I want to show you something here. Acts 26. Acts chapter 26. Well, let me uh, read this one first. Acts chapter 7, verse 55. Acts 7, 55. Here, here we see all these men that they saw the ancient of days. They saw God. Amen. So now, uh, in, in uh, uh, Stephen chapter 5, I'm going to show you something beautiful. Acts chapter 7, verse 55 and 56. Uh, but he, Stephen, being full of the Holy Spirit, being full of the Holy Ghost, amen. You want to see things, deep things of God, yea, even the deep things of God? Well, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the baptizer with the Holy Spirit and with fire, when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit and start reading the Bible, you will read the Bible in a different way. Through the eyes and the power of the Holy Ghost, of the anointing. You have no need that anyone teach you anything. He says, I, the Holy Ghost, will reveal unto you, yea, even the deep things of God. You want a good teacher? Get the Holy Ghost. But he, Stephen, being full of the Holy Ghost, he looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing. Remember that the glory of God, God is sitting on the throne. Amen. And he sees Jesus standing. He sees Jesus, Yeshua, standing at the right hand of of God. How can you mess that one up? 56. And he said, Look, look, 
I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. He's telling the other fellows that are with him. They're stoning him. They're beating him. This is a man of God. Saul, who became Paul, a persecutor of the church of Jesus Christ, the church of God. Saul, full of the devil, tearing up Christians, hating Christians. He would take them, he would take rocks, he would watch the other ones throw rocks at you and stone you to death. That was Saul. But God had a plan. He sent the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and he knocked Saul off his ass, King James, donkey, new King James. He knocked him off his donkey, and Saul turned around. He Saul knew that Jesus was right behind him. Why? Because he was persecuting the church of Jesus Christ. He knew that Jesus would be right on his tail. He knew it. So when he got knocked down, he says, Lord. He even called him Lord. He knew the Lord Jesus. Lord, who are you? He says, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. But Saul, stand on your feet. For this purpose, I have appeared to you. For this reason, I have uh, revealed myself to you. Is to make you a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesse, I'm going to send you to the city of Las Vegas. You're going you, to uh, uh, take some people of darkness and translate them. You're going to show them the light. Who is the light? Jesus Christ is the light. Jesus Christ is the king of kings. Jesus Christ is, is the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the one that gives you eternal life in Jesus Christ. Amen. So you're going to go to darkness and tell the people that are living in the darkness of the city of Las Vegas and point them to Jesus. Amen. I don't point them to me because who am I? That the Lord is mindful here in the city of Las Vegas that revealed himself to me. He says, Jesse, for this reason, I'm going to save your life. I was going to jump from the union. I was going to jump from one of the hotels here in the city of Las Vegas. But Jesus, I'm saying, but Jesus, I'm saying, but God had a different plan for my life than the plan that I thought about, about my life. And the Lord spoke a word unto me, and he says, Jesse, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. You need Jesus. You need to come. You need to come to Yeshua, HaMashiach. Um, uh, here's Stephen. Another, out of the mouth of one, two, or three, let it be established. Let God's word be established. Amen. And uh, check this out. Uh, I want to show you... Uh, I want to get... Got the Father on there. Awesome. Awesome word. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that was Stephen. Here is another witness uh, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. Well, I'm number four witness. I saw, I've just seen Jesus. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's go to uh, Acts. Uh, anyway, we, we, we got that, that. That was so beautiful. Um, I'm going to jump to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Now we're going to talk about Paul. We mean Paul. Um, it is the, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1. It is doubtless not prof prof profitable for me to boast. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, 14 years in the year, amen, 14 years ago, whether in the body, I do not know, or whether out of the body, 
I do not know, but one thing I know is that God knows. Such a one was caught up to the third heaven. Someone was caught up to the third heaven. You can be in your bed, in your house, and God will grab you, pick you up, and take you to the third heaven because if He wants to do that, God can do whatever He wants. Amen? Um, third heaven, verse 3, I know, and I know such a man, a man, a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, but I know one thing that God knows. How he was caught up to paradise. How he was caught up to paradise. Amen. Now, I want you to listen to something very beautiful. Very beautiful. And uh, this is so awesome. Um, how awesome is this? This is just so beautiful and so awesome. I'm going to read something from Galatians. Uh, something that happened to Paul. Saul, who became Paul, much of the writer of the uh, New Testament. Amen. Uh, here, Paul, the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Galatians. Amen. And I'm not going to read the whole chapter, chapter 1, but I'm going to start reading at verse uh, 9. <clears throat> Galatians 1, 9. As we have said before, so I say again, if anyone preaches, preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be a curse. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I speak to please men? Do you know that in churches and everywhere we go is that they, they, you see a lot of men pleasers. Men pleasers. They please men. They don't please God. A man will come over and offer you some money to open up a church in the city of Las Vegas. And I'm going to give you a salary. And I want you to open up a church because I'm over here in, in uh, Nairobi, Africa. I am from Nairobi, Africa. And I want you to open church in Las Vegas. And I will pay you. But, one thing, you must preach that Jesus is the Father. Jesus is the Father. I pay you money. Good money. Then, I want you to preach that God is a spirit. Oh, money. Money, yeah. I'll open up a church and, and uh, oh, uh, uh, what do you want me to name this church? Is uh, the God of Holiness, Holiness Church, the Holy of Holies Church. Whoa! Everybody runs into the Holy of Holies Church. I would not be. For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Jesus Christ. Either I'm a servant of a man, or I'm, I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me it's not according to men. The gospel that I'm preaching is not according to men. For I neither received it from a man, nor was I taught it by a man. But everything that was revealed unto me, it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But it came through the revelation. <laughs> uh, praise God. My pulpit is falling apart here. I'm getting excited. That's what that means. Amen. Get it. First, first uh, uh, Galatians chapter 1, 
Verse 12. For I neither received it from a man, nor was I taught it by a man, but it was taught by the power of the Holy Ghost and the revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Remember in the uh, book of... Uh, um, uh, okay, but when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me, God called me. Amen. Watch, Paul, an apostle, not of men, nor through men, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Amen. Galatians 1.1. 1, 1. Amen. Verse 16. To reveal his Son in me. The purpose that God chose me was to reveal his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, in me, that I might preach him. That I might preach him. I do not preach myself. I preach Him, the Lord Jesus Christ, that for God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son. I'm going to finish with this. Let's go to Revelation chapter 4. Quickly. John, here is another witness. Eyewitness. Here's another uh, John chapter 4. <clears throat> After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing in heaven, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me. Come up hither. And I will show you. And I will show you. Things. Which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the spirit. You got to be in the spirit to look at. To see these things. If you see them with your fleshly eyes. With your flesh. In the flesh. And not walking in the spirit. Reading in the spirit. You won't receive much of the revelation by the Spirit of God. Immediately I was in the Spirit. Somebody needs to immediately get into the Holy Ghost. You need to get into the Spirit. The things of the Spirit or the things of the flesh. You are not mindful of the things of God because you're mindful of the things of the world. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Hope it's falling apart here. Okay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, interruptions. Love interruptions. And he who sat there. He who sat there. This is uh, the throne room of God in heaven. John is taken up there because the voice that spoke to him. It says, come up hither. And when you hear that voice, come up here. Lazarus, come forth. You're going to come forth. When the voice of God speaks, even E.F. Hudson listens. Verse 4, chapter 4, Revelation chapter 4, is the throne of God. Guess what happens in um, Revelation chapter 5, verse 1. What happens in Revelation chapter 5? Um, before I, I, I go there, I, I really believe that the Lord wants me to show this. Uh, Revelation chapter 4, uh, verse 8. The four living creatures, each having six wings full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night. They don't stop day nor night. There is no night in heaven. There is no darkness. God is light and in Him there is no darkness. Day and night, saying, worshiping and praising. Amen. He says, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things. Remember, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. For you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. By your will they exist and were created. Lord, that by your will we exist and were created. Revelation. That was free, um, free revelation there. No charge for that one. 
but for the rest. <clears throat> Chapter 5, verse 1, and I'm finished with this. And I saw John raptured up to heaven, translated up to heaven. He says, I saw in the right hand, not left hand, in the right hand. And this is no spiritual stuff. He is sitting on a throne. I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne. If this was spiritual, why would he say I, to him that sat on the throne? You don't have to put, uh, the. Uh, if it's spiritual, you don't have to put down, you would have taken out the sat on the throne because if that's spiritual, you don't even need that. Why, why write it? I saw in the right hand or in the power of his right, righteous right hand. Why don't you just uh, change the Bible? And say, I saw in the in his righteous power of uh, right hand, uh, it's like a book, uh, and that was sealed with seven seals. Why don't you just change it around the way you are doing anyway? That's what you're doing anyway, because you don't take it for what it says. You take it and and and, and you put on your own uh, commentary you note. Know, and you put your own, your own, your own, your own and twist the word of God, change the word of God and open up your own church. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book written in the inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. I'm going to jump to verse um, verse 5. Uh, but one of the elders said to me, do not weep, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David has prevailed. Here comes the Lamb of God. Here comes the Lamb of God. And I looked and behold in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a Lamb. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Here's the, the, uh, the Ancient of Days sitting on the throne, and here comes the Lamb. He, then he also saw a Lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns, seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Verse 7, Revelation chapter 5, verse 7. I'm going to finish with this. He, the Lamb of God, he came and took the book. He came, he walked over and took, taking, this is no spiritual, and took the book out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. You see two here. You see two here. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the book Jesus, Jesus, you are worthy to take the book and to open the seals, for you were slain. Who was slain? Was, was God the Ancient of Days slain? God has no blood. God is not contaminated with any type of B or C or D blood. No. For you were slain. And have redeemed us to God. Jesus, you have redeemed us to God. To the God and Father, for our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. To God by your own blood. By your own blood. Not by the blood of, of the ancient of days. By your own blood. Out of every tribe and tongue and people and nations. And have redeemed us. Redeemed us. We needed redemption. Through the redemption of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And have redeemed us. And have made us kings and priests. You are a kingdom of priesthood. priesthood uh, a royal priesthood, uh, a priesthood. A holy nation. That's who you are now. That's who we are in Christ. Through the blood of the Lamb. Perfect play to say praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Abba Father. For eternal life in Jesus Christ. And we shall reign on earth. And we shall reign on earth. And we shall reign on earth. Um, Revelation chapter. Uh, you got to read it for yourself. You got to read the Bible for yourself. Amen. 
uh, I started, um, uh, I had a teacher, and uh, all that's good, a a amen, that's good, but you see, when you get a teacher, um, somebody taught him, somebody ordained him from Pakistan, from Mexico City, and the bishop, well, get the Lord Jesus Christ, get Abba Father, and get the power of the Holy Ghost, and get yourself a Holy Bible with, with, with nothing else, the pure black and white word, and the red is for the blood of the Lamb. When you read, and when I, I tell you what, this is Revelation, when I read the red letters, it's Jesus' blood, they're in red. <clears throat> I read a Bible that it was all black and white. I read another Bible that it was all red, from, uh, from Genesis chapter 1 all the way to Revelation chapter 22. It was all red, all covered with the blood of the Lamb, all Jesus, amen. Because some people say that the Ancient of Days is none other than, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, none other than pre-incarnate Christ. As you can see, and he, he, they, they brought uh, the Son of Man unto the Ancient of Days. They brought the Son of Man to the Ancient of Days. They brought a second person of the Trinity of the Godhead. Amen. The third person is, is got, the, uh, got the Holy Ghost that comes over and does His work. Everybody has a job to do. Amen. And, and, and the three of them are one. They're one family, me and my wife and my boy, we're one. We are one. If you haven't heard anything I've said, listen to this. 1 John chapter 1. And this is the message which we have heard from him and declared to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie, we're liars, and do not practice the truth. But, I love the buts in the Bible, but if we walk in the light, not in the flesh or in darkness, but if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. You must have fellowship with one another. You must have fellowship with the Father. You must have fellowship with the Son in the power of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Anoint you. Uh, I, I counsel you to buy from me gold refining the fire that I may anoint your eyes that, uh, with eyes that, that you may be able to see. Knowing not that you are poor, wretched, more poor, miserable, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in a fire. Many have left their first love. Their first love is not your first boyfriend, your first girlfriend, your first wife, your first, uh, your first lover, male or female. The lover of your soul is the Lord Jesus Christ. The lover of your soul. The one that hate your soul is uh, Lucifer, Satan, the dragon. Um, he hates your soul. And the way Satan is working in, 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 in Las Vegas and in your city and in your country, he comes over, gets into you, and tells you and preaches to you and teaches you to preach a different gospel. Let him be a curse. You to preach something else than what I have just read to you? That's how the devil is working in the city of Las Vegas. 